Hello and welcome to the Silly Geese podcast, a very special Silly Geese podcast, <coughs> as it's St. Patrick's Day is of recording this. Oy. Oy. So oh, I thought Neve was reaching for an Irish assortment of sorts. No, I haven't had one today. Don't plan on having one today. I'm not on about alcohol. Well, that's what I thought you were on about. Nope. I'm, I have River Rock, that's Irish. Yeah, I suppose it is. I don't have a brownie. It was made here. <laughs> um, I have a green marker on my desk. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Are you oh, right, yeah, yeah. Green T-shirt. All right, green headphones. Right, I did that before the before we recorded. I set it up. It doesn't look green on the camera. It doesn't green matter on my head, but green apple juice carton. Hey, okay, we need to stop talking about green things because I've run out. <laughs> Never mind, I haven't run out. I have Yoshi's Universal Gravitation for the Game Boy Color, or Game Boy Advance. I have a Komogi pen and it's also we're gonna, green. We're going we're gonna to record this video. <laughs> um, so. Um, so. What's it called? Forgotten everything now. Today uh, we're going to be doing a movie thing on the commitments. Oh yeah, we're doing since it's St Patrick's Day, we're doing an Irish movie. We're doing the Barry Town trilogy, but you have to wait till next year to watch this. The van is the van next. No, the snapper. The, snapper, the snapper's next. That's next year. Um, <laughs> we get to milk three years out of this bit. Yeah. But, um, this age really does. Do. With fucking another film. What? Roddy, do I will probably come out with another film? Probably. And it'll just be just as good. We could do Rosie. A lad. We could do. <laughs> Harked. Is that an Irish Same movie? What's the Irish movie with Don Cheadle? I don't know. The Guard. Yeah. yeah, we could do that. Anyway. Um... Fuck's sake. Um. <laughs> We aren't doing news this week because we're not arsed, really. So, um, I suppose we should just get into the movie. Even gonna let you introduce the movie because you've read the book. No, I have. Like, I read a bit of it. It's very hard to keep up with in the book because there's no chapters, and you just kind of talk for no reason. Fair. Uh. The Commitments is the first of the Right Hand Trilogy. It was released in 1991 to international success. It was massive. Yeah, it was pretty big, actually. It was massive. Like, they got a premiere in LA. They didn't think it was going to do this good. Mm. But then, because it was so good, there were so much expectations for the other ones, and they just slowly... <laughs> Die down because they've become more Irish. Yeah, and this more... one is very. This one isn't very Irish, even though the whole point of it is that they're Irish. Like, the whole point of this movie Where? is there's a group of lads. Spoilers for The Commitments 1991. <laughs> um, maybe that's 30 years old. Um, there's a group of lads, and they're like, we want to we wanna do music. Like captures the heart of being Irish, which is sex and working in the factories, according to this movie. Yeah. And um, they don't really do that, to be fair. To be fair to them, like they don't. They almost get there, but then they almost get there, and they don't. That that I think that's the point of the film. They were so close, hmm. but nothing happened. That's another thing about, like, I don't know if it's in the snapper. I haven't seen the snapper yet, but I know it's in the van. It's like, Roddy Doyle writes movies. Or, like, books as well, I assume. The books are very true to the movies. But he, writes he doesn't movies. really do the screenplays. He huh? just kind of... He doesn't do the screenplays. He just writes the books. Oh, right, okay. Well, the, the screenplays are all just like, look at this great idea. That's how they start. Then it's like, oh, shit, this isn't a great idea. <laughs> Or like this is going yeah. all right, and then and then like shit hits the fan in like the last half an hour. 
That's yeah. this movie and the, the van. I don't know if it's the snapper. But... No, the snapper is pretty good. Okay. There yeah, is like don't a up. dark scene. Hmm? There's a dark scene in the snapper, but... Fair enough. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, I need to watch that next year. Actually, I might watch it soon. Now that we've actually watched this. I've seen a bit of this movie before, though. I saw, like, the first half I've of the seen... movie. And then I had a dream the other night the whole of time. a scene in this movie. Which I hadn't seen before. What scene? I don't remember. I remember watching the movie and I was like, this is weird. It was a really specific part. I think it was a part where... What's the main fella's name? Jimmy. Isn't it? Uh, Jimmy was Jimmy. just talking. He just said something like... <clears throat> I kind of just sat there and I like gained consciousness again. I was like doing, I was half paying attention to this movie, but um, I was like doing some other stuff while I was like watching, and uh, yeah, no, I remember just like doing something else and then like looking up the screen. It was that scene that I like dreamt of the other day, and I was like, "This is weird." I was so committed to watch <laughs> them. I watched it when I slept. <laughs> oh yeah, you fell asleep towards the end of this movie, didn't you, Thomas? No, I, I played the whole movie while I was asleep and then watched it as well. In the head. Yeah. <laughs> but me and Thomas watched it together, like on um on a Discord call. And uh Thomas fell asleep. <laughs> so <laughs> Thomas was we watched it yesterday and Thomas was dying. Like literally dying. So it's understandable. Um no. but like yeah. I find it funny how this is a St. Patrick's Day episode that's coming out the weekend of St. Patrick's Day. Sherlock. And we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, No, but it's just funny how like we're Irish and the one Irish holiday we have... I guess we have Halloween. Uh, But the one Irish holiday we have is like... Yeah. We don't post a video on the day. But oh well. We were supposed to, but... Then again, it might not have even come out on the day, even if we did record yesterday. Exactly. Speaking of, are the last two Batman episodes out yet? I don't uh, know. The game is, is out. The game yeah. is out. I was speaking to a long-time fan of the series about it. I'll have to ask you who that is afterwards, because I don't want you to say their name. Um, but, um... No, I'm. I'm. What? How do you? How do you speak about the commitments? Well, we can't get just... Thomas to do a recap because he doesn't remember the movie. Yeah, I can do a really quick recap, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is no. Man decides band needs to be better. Decides, you know what? Soul. Let's do that. Dublin Soul, even. Band uh, gets the the band together like the A team. Like that scene in the A team. Think of that, but with Irish people. Yeah. Then man gets the band together. They have a gig. So he's Nick it Fury. Happens. That's <laughs> then. Then the band they they kind of make it, and then they don't make it, and that's the film. Yeah, that's true. No, but it's like they get the weirdest bunch of people from different backgrounds. Like they have a very poorly. <laughs> What? Oh yeah, they have a very horny man who is fifteen at the time. He looks about forty yes. at the time. Yeah, and he's Deadpool? the lead singer. Some voice though. He has some voice. He's an actual uh, singer now instead of just an actor. Yeah, he okay. bought a Porsche, put him in like two thousand and ten, but then he couldn't pay the tax on it. As the lips oh, said. Speaking. Wait. Speaking of Porsche, did you see? Cars and Porsche are making a like a real life version of Sally. It's like a Porsche based on, because Sally's design is based on a Porsche, but it's not like exact. And they're making this one of a kind Sally cars Porsche, and it's being like given away. Imagine how deadly! Imagine how deadly that'd be to own that. Oh, I can think of one person that wants it. Oh. That muffler be gripping. Oh. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, sorry, Thomas, I did not mean to cut you off. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> Thomas wearing Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> On the ex rocker wearing Crocs. <laughs> X Rocker? More like. Mr. Crocker. Anyway, are you gonna. Uh, yeah, so as the lips says, he has the voice of God. Yeah. That was all I was gonna say. That's it. That's my recap. Good night, There's everybody. A really good part in this movie where Colin Meany, legendary actor, says, uh, mm-hmm. What's up with Evil Knievel? Uh, when Joey the Lips Fagan shows up and he's like. Oh, God sent him just to, to to play in our band, and Colin Meany no, just turns God. around and goes, "On a so good. It's very good. Um, it does. I feel like it come like it's a really represent, good representation of what Dublin life was like in the nineties. Yeah. there was even a part where there's kids smashing windows because they're talking about like the 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 bombings. In the north, mm. like, like, it's really weird how like accurate this movie is. Like, um, in the van, like I know I'll probably bring it up again when, whenever we get around to that. But like, my dad used to go to like the bar that's in the van. He like recognizes a few of the people in that scene, and he mm. points it out every time we watch the movie together. No. Well, it's like, it's like this is genuinely just like a random Irish place that they rented out for like a bit. Yeah, um speaking of recognizing people in the film, Joey the Lips Fagan, his mother, the woman that plays his mother, used to teach my mom Irish dancing. Oh. That's terrifying cool. woman. Yeah, no that's something sense. terrifying in that oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is like Who's she again in the movie? I don't remember her. She's just the mother and she's just there playing a fucking violin in the corner. She's the white haired like, woman that like the they're playing in her like backyard. Oh you get down to the bottom of the garden. Yeah, you will find a ladder. Oh she is weird. She reminds me of Bojack's mom from Bojack. <laughs> and Bojack's mom has dementia, so like <laughs> Yeah. That just goes to show you, but it's like she is kinda of odd. But again, oh. there's one of them in every fucking village in this country. Aye. There's not one of them every square mile. <laughs> Just sitting. <laughs> they have that room that everyone used to have for the priest. They have that still done up. The front room. The front room. It's like every time the grandkids come around, they give her like they give them like two euro to clean it. She's the kind that gives you like 13 euro on your 13th birthday. Yeah, but it's all coins and it's stuck to the inside of your card. Yeah. Or it's all in like 50 cents and it fall. It's like, <laughs> like weighing you down yeah. when you carry it around. Oh, no, yeah, that's, um, a, that's a fun fact. On my 13th birthday, my great granny got me 13 euro on a card that she, <laughs> that she scraped together from the change in her car. <laughs> she had forgotten it was my birthday. That was fun. Um, that's another good scene. When he's in Ballymun, Jimmy, and he's going to visit Bernie, and it's just a fellow with the horse waiting at the at the lift, mm. and he's just like, you hardly bring them in here. I'm sure the stairs will tire him out. <laughs> Fair enough. I also love when they're like first making the band, and just everyone is in Colin Meany's house. <laughs> yeah, Colin's on the toilet. And it's so funny. Yeah, and then the fella's like, I've come here for whatever. And he's like, what do you play? And he's like, I used to play a bit of football in school. <laughs> he's like, no, I'm an instrument. And he's like, going to be honest, I thought everyone coming in here thought you had drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even see that scene. Oh, this film is so well put together. It's it's so- weird because it's one of those films where not a lot happens, but it's like interesting. It's a cult classic more than anything. Hmm. Also, hang on. Oh, I I was under the impression that your man, the greasy lad, the singer, what's his name? 
Deco. Deco. I was under the impression that he was in the band originally with the other two guys. Who's oh, yeah. Yeah. So no, no, I was fan in Derek. Yeah, no, I thought I thought they were the original tree, and then they kicked Deco out, and then they were like, well, we need Deco back, because no one else no. can sing. But no, I'm just, I'm literally just an idiot. Deco was at the wedding. Yeah, I know, but I thought they, I thought they see him at the wedding, and they're like, Jesus, he's the lad in your band, get rid of him. Because no. that's what they're talking about in that scene. But then I realised that it's they're talking about that because they want to replace the lad they already have with Deco. Yeah. Who's just sitting. This is like where I... I know they didn't film this in Glasgow. But like Dublin <laughs> City must have been the second greasiest place. If like... If they used Glasgow as Gotham City, the greasiest city in the world, they had to, <laughs> Dublin has to be the second on that list. In the 80s and 90s, yes. <laughs> Today, <laughs> today, today still, yes, still. <laughs> the pigeons run the streets in Dublin. <laughs> the people don't. People avoid the pigeons in Dublin. Pigeons don't avoid you. Yes. We were in Dublin a couple of weeks ago, and I tried to pick up a pigeon. And they didn't <laughs> care. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids and that dumbass dog. <laughs> but no, it's just a cult classic. Like you have to watch the Baritone trilogy at some point in your life. Yeah, no, I'd recommend this to like anybody. I remember, re- I remember recommending the um, the Young Offenders to like my Saudi Arabia, like my friend in Saudi Arabia, and she was. I was like, this is the most Irish thing I can think of, and she was like, it's a lot of cursing. I watched the first two minutes of it. There's a lot of cursing. I was like, yeah. Get used to it. <laughs> That's what she, it is. I don't like <laughs> curse around her. Um. So like, she just never really expected it. Oh, but it's... it was so funny. Just her just being like, I didn't like this. <laughs> yeah, I also forgot that your man gets electrocuted halfway through this film. Oh shit! Yeah. I looked away for that part, and I look back, and he's in the hospital, and they're like, "Jesus!" Oh no, that no, that scene's so funny. It's like, yeah, every good rock star, yeah, dies or something. Yeah. Name someone. Yeah, he drowned. Did he? Yeah, he drowned from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Load of them drowning, apparently. No, it's just funny because Irish people go on about death a lot, and they like complain about death. They're like, "Don't say that. Don't talk about that." And then they'll talk about it for like hours. Yeah. You can't give an Irish person that's over the age of like 36 to able you can't give them leeway in a conversation to talk about anything. That's why all Irish men are to the point. What did you do today? Mm-hmm. Woke up, went to work. Nothing in between. They did nothing. <laughs> that hour in between, they stood there and stared into deep space. <laughs> No thoughts head empty. Thomas, you look like no thoughts head empty right now. <laughs> Thomas looks like Dwayne the Rock Johnson if Dwayne the Rock Johnson was a fish. Don't don't no don't do the moments. Don't do the impression. Bravo. <laughs> Um, I think it's just time to fucking end it. <laughs> I don't know how to talk about this movie. It's really good, and everyone should go and watch it. Good film. The watch music. It. Sorry, we're missing down to big point. The music. The mu- is music is me. very good. They have that one song from Baby Driver. They have two songs from Baby Driver, I think. Right, Sally, right. No, not right, Sally, right. <laughs> That's a good one, though. <laughs> That's also in this. It's the, a, nowhere it's to Run. Really um, there's Nowhere to Run is in this movie. Nowhere to Run. Is it to... Bell Bottoms that's also in this movie? No. Bell Bottoms. I'm going to Google Bell this. Bell. I, think there's two, I think there's two songs from Baby Driver that's in this, but I could be wrong. Destination. Anywhere. That's another good one. East or West. Mustang Sally. 
when Deco's there on the bus and he's just singing at the wee communion girls, that's brilliant. That's a good scene. Just like, yeah, this is a weird man. Take me to the river is a good one. And he's only 50. Take me, take me to try a little tenderness. That's the, that's the best way to end. Yeah, that and is like, a good one. When the movie starts and then you hear the, the like the starting music, you just, you're just like, oh, this is deadly. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, nowhere to run. Too many fish in the sea is also in this. Um. Must thank Sally. I said that. Hi, Tom. Yeah. What did you say? Too many fish in the sea. That's a good song. Yeah. Why did you hold up a hanger and then just... Hang on! <laughs> oh! We're way too tired for this. Um... You can come talk to me about being too tired. Yes, I will! I had train this morning a half nine. No. I was fucking woken like... up! Oh. I'll fight you tomorrow! Oh, this. oh, we'll have to take a photo tomorrow, the three of us. It's a ritual at this point that the Saligis have to get a photo together at every outing. No, I refuse. It'll be funny though, because we'll be dressed up as epic characters. I'll make a little edit. I'll make a little edit of all three of our characters standing next to each other. No. I'll awkwardly crop them into like a photo. Oh, Jez, that's going to be hard. <laughs> like Photoshop, I mean. Oh, that'll be funny. I'll do that. No, um, we'll use GIMP. We'll use GIMP. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> um, our computer teacher taught us. Use GIMP. <laughs> use GIMP. It's like Photoshop, but it's free. <laughs> um, I don't... Uh, I, ha I have to say, I give the commitments a fucking 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it an 8. I didn't enjoy it as much as The Van. That's just because this movie isn't as funny as The Van. And there's just a no. lot, there's just a lot of characters like in this movie. This movie is very universal, while the next two are very just... Irish. Home. Yeah. Hmm. And that's what makes them so good, like the next yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. For us. But even then, there's just some like pretty fun bits of this movie like even down to like the like the band splitting up at the end is just like really interestingly done because it's Jimmy, like come up here. Jimmy Don't is trying me. to like Jimmy is trying to like f get them signed or like get them kind of out there more yeah. the drummer has just kicked the shit out of the the main singer Mika, Mika has just oh. kicked the absolute shit out of um, Deco mm -hmm. and the rest of the lads upstairs are like fucking bare knuckle brawling each other so it's like everything like right. everything is supposed to be going well and then like it kind of reality hits it's just a pretty good scene yeah um but no I'm I don't know how to talk about these movies with this movie sorry there is cause no cause it like you're I feel I I resonate deep with it no like it's just Ireland, and like you don't know how to talk about because it it's just kind of like the everyday going on. Yeah, so it's also just like as I said earlier, there's not much that really happens in this movie. Yeah. So like, but... and there's not any like jokes that I like belly laughed at. Like, there's no jokes that like I I remembered really, except for the Suzuki one. And there's an, there was another one that I wanted to remember and I forgot it. What? Explain the scene, and I'll try and remember. I don't remember anything from this movie, so I can't even explain the scene. I was talking to you about it last night, though. Uh, there's the point. I love in this film that Colomini has an obsession with Elvis Presley. Also, no Colomini's reason. not in this movie as much as I expected him to be in it. Nah, he's only... Because him and Roddy are friends. Yeah. Also, Roddy Doyle wrote all the Barry Down trilogy when he was still a secondary school teacher. 
Oh, I thought you meant so when he was in secondary school. I was like, oh, that's even more impressive. He was a secondary school teacher because I watched a documentary on what it last he, year. What did he teach? Oh, I remember you telling me about that documentary. Because it was yeah, 30 years. Yeah, because commitments was 25, 20 or something. 30 years, 30 years. sorry. Last year. Hmm. And it was a three-part series on RTE. You probably can still watch it. Definitely. On, like, each one. And you're just here, like... The, wow. It was really good, wasn't it, the documentary? It was the was deadly. Mm, I remember you talking about that. Because um, I was supposed to watch it and then I never did. You know what's also supposed to be very good? Drive to Win. What? That like Formula One documentary on Netflix. I'm not into F1. Yeah, like that's the thing. Apparently it's like made for people who aren't in for ne- to F1. Like, um, yeah. um, <laughs> One of like one of like my teachers uh was like talking about it and he was like him and the missus started watching it and neither of them had anything to do like had known anything about F one and then like watched the documentary and then they were like now they're like waiting for every race every week. So like apparently it's just really <laughs> good and it's like really in depth apparently. I've heard a lot of like people kind of going mental over it, so I might actually watch it. But then again, I said that about the last time. Thomas, dance. what are you... What? About is Thomas, what do you rate the film from what you remember? 8.5. 8.5. I'm going to go with 8. I think I said that earlier. I think I might have said 7 earlier. That, that. that no, sure. Who cares? Um, I'm going to say it's eight. Eight. It was good. Uh, Yeah. I suppose we'll end it here. We'll be back next week with Sonic. <laughs> You're going to enjoy it, Neve. Just go just go into the movie like as if you've not seen or heard of Sonic before. And you will been. enjoy it. Yeah, I, I know. I know, but you're going to enjoy it. I bet you you will. I know I'm on a personal level. <laughs> Like, I feel like you're gonna enjoy it a lot more than you think you will. Okay, I'll give it a chance. <laughs> Sonic, you or fuck? <laughs> Thomas, you haven't seen it either, have you? No. Okay. I don't think I'm so. Very excited. Because I've pretty... I've seen it a couple of times. I know you have. And it's it's up there for. I don't. Oh yeah, I compared it to a charity. You hate it so much. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, understand. Yeah. I despise the Sonic movie. Yeah. That's why I want to watch it so much. Um, Other than that, though, I have been Jordan. I've been Eve. And I have been Thomas. And uh, we've, we've been the City Geese. Catch nice. us, hopefully, next Sunday. With the upload schedule this channel's had recently, probably not. Uh, <laughs> I'll call him. I'll call him out. Due partially to me and partially to our editor. Um, but good job, editor. <laughs> good job, good job, editor. Thanks for doing this. I'm gonna tell him to listen to the last couple of minutes. Almost on your no, face. wait, no, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, catch us back here hopefully next Sunday, or if not next Sunday, hopefully soon. Uh, same goose time, same goose channel. Good luck, lads. Yeah. Oh.